Hey guys, welcome back to another knife review. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Civivi Aquila, uh, another heavy hitter in the Civivi lineup. Uh, pretty neat knife. Uh, let's see how it stacks up with the rest. And with that, we'll go ahead and take a look at the technical specs that I care about. All right, guys, so taking just a quick look at the specs that I personally care about. Um, first off, you're looking at a blade length of 3.45 inches. So another good option for those of you that have some blade length restrictions in that three and a half range. Um, it's a satin finished hollow ground it's drop point blade. Uh, the blade steel's VG10. And uh, of course you got the G10 scales on it. It's a liner lock. Uh, pocket clip is reversible left right hand carry tip up only you have your lanyard tube still on there uh, constructed with backspacer it runs on bearings uh, with that it's a manual flipper deployment and the weight on it is 4.1 ounces so uh, not bad not bad at all um, kind of you know for this size that weight's pretty average I, I would say uh, one thing I want to mention on the clip as well, that is a, like a 3D machine titanium clip. So it's not, you know, stainless steel or anything like that. It is a pretty nice clip, to be honest. So, yeah, with all that, uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the blade. All right, guys, so taking a quick look at the blade here, um, you know, like I said, reiterating some of the specs here, 3.45 inches. Uh, that's going to be great for, again, you know, those guys that... Uh, live in areas where there's a three and a half inch blade restriction uh, it's gonna you know fall right in it's gonna be at that length where you know if even if it kind of a dick cop measures it you'd be okay uh, satin finish is pretty nice uh, you do get kind of like a matte bead blast finish right there in the thumb thumb hole uh, VG 10 steel uh, it's not bad especially for this price point um, not really going to complain about that at all. Uh, it would be just fine for, you know, everyday use. Uh, I guess you could argue that this could be more of a, you know, kind of like a tactical blade, I guess. But um, everyday use, it'll, it'll be great. Uh, you do get this uh, forward choil here. So if you like to choke up on the blade a little bit, uh, not a whole lot of room. You can see that with your finger in there, you get kind of close, but, um, you know, just... If you keep a conscious mind about it, you'll be okay. Um, flipper is not bad. Uh, it's a little sharp right here in the corner. Uh, that would be the only thing that I would change about that. Maybe round it off just a, a tiny bit. There is jimping on the flipper tab, so even if they did round off that little edge there, it's not gonna you know have your hand slip off or anything. But yeah, I mean, it works. Uh, other than that, you know, you got, again, you got jimping right here at the spine of the blade. It works okay. Um, you know, there's definitely better jimping out there. It's not what I would call, you know, good or great, but, uh, you know, it still offers some grip. And then, uh, you know, just speaking on the aesthetics of the blade, I think it looks cool. Um, you know, as far as the little, you know, I, maybe like a half fuller, I don't know what exactly you would call that, but, um, if it was just plain, I feel like I would like it a little bit more, but um, you get the little half fuller, whatever, and then you got a swedge on the top. Looks great. Um, yeah, that's a, that's about it. Um, the you know it's definitely a full size, so keep that in mind. You know, full size um, knife. So there's the blade. Uh, now we're gonna go take a, a deeper look into the handle. All right, guys, looking more in the at the handle of the knife. Um, it's not bad that there are still some issues here that I, I have had with some other Civivis in the past. Um, just getting right into the, the G10. Uh, G10's nice. It's not super textury. It's a, almost smooth, but it, you know, it does have a little bit of texture you can see there. Uh, you know, I don't mind it being, you know, not super grippy. It still is you know offers a lot of grip so uh, i don't mind you know especially for something that you're going to be putting in and out of your pocket all the time um you're not going to want it to really be ripping up your pockets or anything like that 
Uh, as far as Ur goes on the handle, it feels great in hand. Um, it kind of doesn't really mold to your hand like crazy, but uh, you get a full handle grip on this knife, as you can see. Uh, you know, your fingers fall in the right place without thinking about it. So, yeah, it's just really comfortable. There's no hot spots or anything like that. Uh, you can feel the clip a little bit, but it doesn't it doesn't feel bothersome in any way. Um, 4.1 ounces, that's uh, partially due to these liners here. You could see skeletonized on this side. Uh, no, well, yeah, there is some skeletization on that back side too. Um, kind of makes you wonder how heavy it would be without the skeletonized, maybe closer to four and a half ounces. But, uh, you know, they're taking some measures to kind of counteract that. Um, you know, and again, like I said, this is a full size knife. So getting something in that three and a half inch blade with, you know, about four ounces, that's pretty average. That's not nothing, you know, out of the ordinary or anything like that. Um, you know, lanyard hole, uh, while I don't personally really, uh, do any lanyards or anything like that. Uh, one thing that I can appreciate with this, uh, especially if you're one of those people that likes lanyards, um, that liner, you know, comes around over that lanyard hole. So uh, it just offers a little bit more strength, I guess. Uh, I'm, you know, not totally sure if that is an issue. Like, you know, again, I don't really do lanyards, but um, I just thought that was kind of a nice touch to add a little bit more strength. Uh, backspacer, um, you know, just average stuff. It's got a little bit of a design to it, so it makes it look a little bit cooler. Uh, maybe that adds a little bit of grip when, you know, it's in your palm, but yeah, it is what it is, whatever. Uh, liner lock, you know, most of the Civivis are liner locks. Always love liner locks, not much to say there. Uh, the one issue uh, that I do have with the handle of this knife, however, is the gold liners. Uh, I've mentioned this before in uh, my Praxis review. Um, I just, you know, it looks like kind of like cheap or um, not really gimmicky, but uh, I just don't think it looks like um, what I would imagine a knife like this to, to look like. It just makes it look cheaper. Um, and I said this in my Praxis review also, I feel like I would just take this knife a little bit more seriously without the gold liners um, and just leave them satin, you know, like the satin stainless or, you know, whatever. I uh, just, and it, also it doesn't really go well with the G10 color, um, not just in this, but in some of the other ones, maybe the black, it looks okay. But again, it just makes it look a little cheap in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Um, other than that, you got the uh, Civivi logo here on the Pivot hardware. That's awesome. I like that they do that. Uh, frees up the blade. Um, and, you know, like I said before, the their logo works well with how they do that. So, uh, yeah, it just looks great in my opinion. Um, yeah, other than that, it's just all, you know, satin hardware. That titanium clip is awesome. I love that they have such nice clips on these knives. It's not something you typically see in this price range. Uh, kind of one, one little tiny knock that I have is those screws are not level with each other. Um, and it's, you know, from what I can see, it's just because you see this slant up. Um, you know, if you're just looking at the screws only, um, they are horizontal with each other, but it doesn't look like it just because of the way the, uh, uh, pocket clip kind of ramps up right there. So, um, it's not a huge deal. It's kind of nitpicky. You'll probably never notice it until you really look at it, but that's just one of kind of my little nitpicks on it. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is for the handle. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, the action and the fit and finish. All right, guys, so taking a closer look at the action and fit and finish, uh, as always, um, you know, I've said this in every Civivi review I've ever done. Uh, the action on these knives are fantastic, especially for the price range. Um, I mean, it really doesn't get much better than that. The detent is dialed in perfectly. It flips perfectly. You know, every time you'll get a fresh deployment of the blade. Um, 
it really is amazing that they're able to execute on this level at such a consistent basis. Um, I've said it before, you know, of course, every once in a while, there'll probably be a lemon or two that makes it through. And uh, maybe you've got one that doesn't really flip that well or the detent's not quite right. But in my experience, every single one that I have personally handled has been spot on. So that is just an awesome job by Civivi and we that they're able to execute at that level. Uh, given the price range especially. Um, as far as how the rest of the knife is put together, um, you know, perfect blade centering, um, no play, which I've said before I wouldn't really expect with, uh, you know, something on bearings, but occasionally it does happen. And then, uh, you know, everything else seems to be, you know, lined up and put together well. Uh, again, you know, I don't know if this is really a knock on the fit and finish or whatever, but um, just the way that those screws look kind of throws me off a little bit. Um, you know, I'm not suggesting at all that that affects, um, you know, anything negatively with the clip. It's purely cosmetic, but that's one thing that, you know, if I could change on this knife, I would. Um, I just got to keep an objective, you know, view on this thing, even though I do like it. So, yeah, that's really the only only knock and, you know, even at that, I don't really think that that's really fit and finish related, but everything else is on point. So as always, you know, great job to Civivi and Wii that it's just another home run in that category. So uh, what we're going to do now is go over any final comments, um, you know, miscellaneous statements, and then we'll shut it down. All right, guys, so this will kind of be the closing statements, my overall thoughts on the knife as a whole. Um, you know, for $68, which is what they're asking for this knife, uh, I think you're getting a pretty good package here. Um, you know, the action is great as always. Uh, you know, the looks are, are on point. Um, you know, personally, I could do away without the gold, but that's just me. I know probably some of you guys out there probably like it or, you know, think it's a little unique or whatever. And, that's fine. It's totally an objective or a, a subjective view, but uh, you know, other than that, just the form factor, I like it. I love the action. Um, it's a really good option for a full size EDC, and uh, you're definitely getting your money's worth for 68 bucks. There's no getting around that. Um, you know, for me personally, I think if you don't own any of the Civivi lineup yet. Uh, there are some probably, I would say, better choices to pick from, you know, as a, a first. So, um, you know, one that I can think of just off the top of my head that I did just review is the Civivi Wavern. Uh, and in fact, that one, I believe, is even less than the $68. So, um, you know, that would be a good alternative to check out if... Um, you want to start with a Civivi at a little bit of a less price point. Um, again, you can check out my review on the Praxis, uh, another really great full-size Civivi. Um, just a different look. Uh, it's still got the gold liners on it, unfortunately, but uh, another good suggestion to pick up. Uh, I want to say that one is also under the $68. So uh, either one of those would be another you know fine alternative to this, but... Um, if you're dead set on the looks of this one, man, there's no there's no going wrong with this choice. So, two thumbs up for me. Um, I definitely recommend it. And that is it. That's the Civivi Aquila. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. Please subscribe if you like the video and you want to stay up to date on all of my newest videos. Uh, also, hit the link in the description below for my Instagram just to check out cool pics of knives and you know some behind the scenes shots and with that we will catch you guys on the next one thank you